People say dress for the job that you want, right? You know, that's that's a biblical thing. You want to dress how you want to be addressed. Y'all are princesses, so yeah, that should show. Your outward appearance should show that. Bring it right? out. Keep reading. In like manner also, right. yeah, that's good. Right. in like manner also that women adorn themselves uh -huh. in modest apparel Come on. with shamefacedness. Shamefacedness goes into shy, reserved, quiet, not all loud, moving the finger everywhere, moving the neck everywhere, all that. That's what that goes into. Bring because that's what, that also goes into submission. Right. Women hate that word, but submission is a beautiful thing. That's right. We on? And sobriety. And sober. Not out here getting high right. and drunk. Because that's not becoming of a woman. Right. Why? Because that, it's safety on your part. Because if you're drunk and all high up, all high on drugs, people can take advantage of you. That's why that's our sisters right. are being raped on a constant and daily scale. On a, on a, on a mass scale. Bring it out. Because they're flaunting everything that, that, everything that God has given them. So... That gives guys, the, I guess, the invite to go and do what they want with them. That's no, right. God said if you cover that up, that's nine times out of ten, that's not going to happen. Right. That's right. Read on. Not with broided hair, uh -huh. or gold, or pearls, or costly array, but which becometh women, excuse me, but which becometh women professing godliness with good works. Now, the scriptures is not saying walk out looking like a nun or anything. But the thing is, our sisters pride themselves mostly on looking a certain type of way to attract people, right? right. God says don't focus on that. That's not what you should be do using to get a husband. Bring it right. Out. Right. He said don't be using that, your outward appearance, to deal with a husband. Deal with your spirit. Work on being humble. Right. Meek. Submit, submission, submission to the man because men, they're not, it's but so it, banging that gets that gets old after a while. Bring What's gonna out. keep that woman around? What are the qualities of this woman that's gonna keep her around? That's gonna keep you married to that woman. Right. Bring it out. Men don't want to come home, with house all tore up, no food being made, that's everything right. out of that's order. Right. Men, we don't like that. Right. Want it, sisters, this is a secret. Men don't like that. When men like to come home to a controlled environment, everything right. in oil, order, right. quiet, peace. God said, let that be what you should put on. Right. The scripture, sister, it tells you, God, he said, since you are a princess unto them. You want to be considered, sister, what's your name? What's your name? Itasia. You want to be considered a princess every day, right? Right? Who does it? Who wants want to be royalty every single day, right? But there's certain things that you have to do to be considered that. Because other than that, if you don't see yourself as that, all, all praises, Sarat, uh, 1929. All praises. Because if you're walking around a certain type of way if you don't see yourself as this type of person nobody else is going to see you that way right. it's just facts it's just what it, it, you see that in the work environment you see that but it's that biblical right and afterwards we're going to get on to some more laws and afterwards we want to do the Romans 22 and 5 sure. all right the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus in this in the Apocrypha chapter 19 and verse 30 Break it up. a man's attire and excessive laughter and gait show what he is. So the Bible says what you wear, the things that come out your mouth, and the way that you walk, nine times, yeah, verse 29. Nine times out of 10 shows who you are. You listen long enough, a person's gonna tell you who they are. Right, read verse 29. Verse 29, a man may be known by his look. The Bible says you're gonna know a man by how he looks, read on. One, that hath understanding by his countenance when thou meetest him. Right, so sometimes you can tell by facial expression a serious man if he has his face, you know, kind of bored. Oh, that's a serious guy, right? Dealing with a serious guy. He's not when you see him laughing all the time. Right, you can understand what type of man this is based off of his facial expression. Now, I'm gonna show you something else that sisters do. That God, a certain, other type of, a certain type of way God wants us to dress. Hey, sister, you got a question? Okay, I'm going to show you something too, okay? Did you know God, uh, God wants you, God, you, do you understand who you are according to the Bible, first off? Right? Okay, so on this sign right here, my apologies, I got to backtrack a little bit because sister just came up. So on this sign right here, on the right hand side is what people address us today and on the left hand side is what God addresses us as, right? So. What would your father be? Would, would, your, would your father be a so-called American black? 
Yeah? Okay. So the so-called American blacks, God acknowledges them as the tribe of Judah. Yes, These are the children right. of God. These right. are the real children of God, right? So God, as us being his children, he has his children, we have to act a certain way. He tells us to dress a certain way, carry ourselves a certain way, right? So what we're doing, we're going to show you according to the Bible, as you being one of God's children, how he wants you to dress, right? So read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. That's right. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Now, I have a question for y'all. I tell you, what's your name? China. China. I tell you, China. All right, now, the Bible says the woman shall not put on that which pertaineth to a man. So what is something that women wear today we. that men that men wear normally? We. Men wear wigs. Like some of them doing it now. But <laughs> clothing wise, clothing wise, what is something that the men put? Okay, shorts or what else? You got them on now. She has them on now. No, jeans, pants, pants, pants. God says as princesses, princess, do you see princesses in pants? What is, what is the, the dress code usually of a princess? What do you usually see a princess in to know that she's a princess? A dress. A dress. Bring Correct. It Correct, China. A dress, right? So God has to ha God said the women are to be wearing dresses, right? So once again, that goes back to who taught us to be, uh, who taught the women nowadays to be wearing pants? Because God said the woman is to be wearing dresses, right? And on the flip side, not only does he address the women, he addressed the men also. Men are not to be wearing dresses. Y'all see that normal, and y'all see, okay, that's comedy, that's funny, because normally what? It's funny to you, why? Because normally men aren't supposed to be wearing dresses. That's why people find Medea so funny. Right. That's why when men, these, these comedians, uh, wear these dresses and stuff, they think it's funny. It's right. not a funny thing. God says for the men not to wear dresses, why? Because that puts an effeminate spirit on you, a, a woman-like spirit. God doesn't want you to do it. That's confusion. And he puts the dresses on women because women, it makes you, it makes, puts the womanly spirit on you. It benefits the God's laws, but today we've broken God's laws. And as you can see, everything is out of order. Right, get up. Everything's out. The home is out of order. The father's not in the home. Right. The mother's raising the kids. Right. Everything right. is out of order. You took, a, you took a system that was already perfect and you changed it. Right. And now look at us. God is telling us, he put these curses on us to let us know, guess what, something's wrong. Bring it up. Something's wrong, right? So the woman is ought to be wearing dresses. That's what God said. Why? Because you're a princess on to him. And men ought to be wearing pants. Why? Because that's what he went the men wear, right? And there's health benefit, benefits behind it too also. You know, women get certain uh, infections from wearing pants. Did y'all know that? Y'all know that? That's right. You get certain sicknesses from wearing pants as a woman, right? Yes, yeast infections. And men also, and with men, uh, with the with the pants, the men controls the uh, the temperature. Men have to have uh, their their man parts a certain temperature far as with birth, far as with uh, uh, reproducing. That's, That's right. why he wants men to wear pants to keep that there, keep the heat there, everything at a, at a normal temperature. So everything is beneficial for us, That's but we don't know. listen. We don't listen. So everything is all out of order. I'm going to prove that. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. I'm going to jump back to another curse in verse 61. Bring it out. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. And, yes, sir. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 61. Also, every sickness, every what? Every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law. Yeast infections are written in the Bible. AIDS isn't written in the Bible, but yet the curse still touches on that. Read on. Them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. God said he's going to bring these things upon you. Why? Because you didn't listen to what he said from the get-go. Right. I want you wearing dresses, women, and men, I want you wearing pants. Now these things, we take it, okay, all right, well, you know, God, God is a very particular man, right? Uh, will we be punished for these things if we don't wear it? If we don't do what God says, right? Give me Zephaniah 1 and 8. Because this is a serious matter. Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 8. Mm -hmm. 
because we take it as a like thing. These things are put in place for us to keep order. Do we see order in our in our neighborhoods now? Bring it out. There's no order in our neighborhoods, and we all we're all fighting for peace, right. for That's things right. to be right. Because right. we know when we step outside, things aren't right. But God said you had to do what I say to get things back right. Right. right? But here's the flip. Here's the flip side of it. The book of Zephaniah, chapter one, and verse eight. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children. The princes is you, my brother. And what's your name? Willie? Okay. You're the prince's children. You're God's son, right? So read it again from Zephaniah. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice uh -huh. that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. That's strange right. apparel is women wearing pants. Right. That's strange to God because I said, I want you wearing dresses. Strange apparel to the man is a man wearing a dress. Right. Because what I told you, I want you wearing pants. That's right. When men wearing dresses puts an effeminate spirit on the man, how can a man rule the house with an effeminate spirit? He acting like the woman. Right. It's confusion. Bring it out. Give me First Corinthians chapter three about uh, you know, feminine you can't inherit the kingdom. Six and nine, excuse me. All praises. Because hard to believe it. You think oh, God's being harsh with these things? No, He's not. God is a man of order, and you should model yourself after your father. Right. 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 The book of First Corinthians, chapter six and verse nine. Bring it know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Bring so God up. is going to give you an example of what the unrighteous is that will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. You will not go to heaven if you have these spirits on you. Read. Bring Be it up. not deceived, neither fornicators. So men sleeping around with multiple women, or right. women sleeping around with multiple men. Right. Nor idolaters. You following anything else other than what God says because right. you're putting a God over him, right? right? Read on. Nor adulterers. Come on. Nor effeminate. Nor what? Nor effeminate. If you are having if you as a man have an effeminate spirit on you, God can't use you bring it up. for this mission. Right. This mission is to bring back the 12 tribes of Israel today, to put That's us right. back in our rightful estate. Right. God cannot use an effeminate man. Right. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.